Alright, this tutorial is going to be a zombie bite. I know I have done one in the past with, you know, using scar wax, but this time this one's going to be made out of liquid latex. And this stuff is gold when you want to make a zombie bite, you know, burn skin, all that stuff. Stuff is amazing. And the best time to buy it, obviously, is around Halloween. Because it's a lot cheaper versus eBay that jacks up the price and not cool. But yeah, this is what the wound looks like. You know, if you don't want to do a zombie wound, you know, it could be like a gash. You know, if you want to get like a piece of fake glass and stick it in, does not matter. It's up to you. It's your Halloween costume. And this is a dedication video to my friend Daniel. A um, couple days ago, I was just messing around and I made one similar like this. And I sent to him and he was, I need you for Halloween, blah blah blah. So yeah, this is just a little tidbit, little helpful advice if you wanted to do a zombie, etc. so forth. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and I'm going to go ahead and get this started. First, before you put the liquid latex on, make sure your arm or wherever you're going to put the wound is really moisturized, otherwise the liquid latex is going to stick to your hair, and that's going to be very painful, which that kind of goes without saying. So get your liquid latex, doesn't matter what kind you're going to use. and put it wherever you want the wound to go. Use a cheap brush, one that you're going to throw away, and just smooth it out. Get your toilet paper and press it on on the liquid latex. It's okay if it looks kind of messy. Go in with more liquid latex, put this on top, and then just smooth it out again. You want to have at least four or five layers when you make a wound. Alright, it just started looking something like this. This is the third layer. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple extra layers on and then just repeat the same process. Toilet paper and just put it on the liquid latex. Now that I have the last layer on, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. If you're in a hurry, you can use a blow dryer, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And when it's dried, we're going to put the makeup on. Alright, once the wound is dry, I already went ahead and put on some foundation to, you know, kind of blend it into my skin tone. Going with a stipple sponge and a bruise wheel. If you don't have a bruise wheel, you know, regular Halloween paint, like brown, green, red, yellow. It does not matter, you know, this is your wound, this is for your Halloween costume, just go in and have fun with it. Once you finish with your bruise wheel, you can go ahead and go in with um, additional face paint to give like other effects if you'd like. And one effect that I'm going to try to do is kind of make it look like my veins are showing using various colors, various face paint which I have red, yellow, green, and black. So, I'm going to make a vein. Once your wound is all painted and to your liking, go ahead and go in with your scissors. And please be very careful when you do this. And go ahead and try to cut, the, cut your wound open.
Once you cut the wound open, go ahead and mess with it and get to how you want it. Even though that we haven't put in the fake blood, it looks pretty cool just how it is. It looks really gross and it's fun to play with actually. Fun little scab. Anyway, go in with one of the paintbrushes and then just put in black. This gives a depth to it. This makes it look all gross and disgusting like you have this huge chunk been out of you. And then just put it in. Then just kind of go along like the insides, like along the wall. And see, it's fun. You can like gross out your friends, your mom, people at work, and it's talking. Okay, sorry. And then your fake blood. Just pour it all in. There's never a thing as too much blood. And then to kind of make it really gross. Ew. Anyway, but yeah, you kind of get the concept. Just let it kind of drain. And it gets all over, that's okay. But make sure that if you are going to use fake blood, to wear clothes that you absolutely do not care to get dirty because majority of the time fake blood will not come out unless you have some really freaking awesome detergent but yeah it probably won't come out all right there you have it that is our zombie bite wound with liquid latex and toilet paper this was really fun to do, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you guys have a fun and safe Halloween.